Dragino is one of the leaders in LoRaWAN gateways. This model, the LG308, is a very nice gateway, and they've just had a great firmware upgrade for it. They added Remote It to it. Remote It is a remote access software that allows you to access the device and configure it from anywhere in the world. Here we're going to have a Remote It desktop software control one of these gateways, and I'm going to talk to my buddy Miguel Winstainer, who's a professor down in Brazil, and configure his gateway and remotely access it from here in the States. Here's our conversation. So anyway, I just wanted to capture this, but I thought, you know, we might as well uh, take a look at this. So this is my account here on my remote desktop. I have, you know, several accounts linked in here, but I'm just going to use this as the one I registered. I gave you the code for, for your Dragino. Mm -hmm. And so this is your Dragino right here. It says it's online. Um, this is the name. I think this is generated by the by the software on the Dragino. Mm -hmm. And this little right. this little icon right here means okay. it means it's remote configurable. Okay. So the last time we registered we did the test, we used a product ID rather than a license ID. And um, it, so it had a preset configuration for it. This this means when you register with the license key, um, basically it just puts the device in your account, but there's no configuration. So if I click on it right now, there's no services here that you can connect to. Mm -hmm. There's just uh, you know, and then you can it says it's in Brazil. That's on your on your thing. It's the Open WRT. Um, so anyway. So, you know, that's pretty much it. So it's there. So there's not there's nothing I can really do with it until I add a service. So here's a service. I want to add a service. And I think the first service we'll do is uh, it's HTTP, right? It wasn't HTTPS on the on the port 80. So this says I'll, I'll, do, I'll connect HTTP on port 80 on localhost. That means on that Dragino router the software is running on will we'll, we'll uh, We'll uh, set that up. And I think there's other configurations that you can set up about how it connects and how it launches and all that stuff. But I think at this point, it doesn't really matter. We'll save this. And now it'll actually register the service on your, on your Dragino and, uh, you know, in the background. And it's pretty quick. This should, uh, if we, I think there's a refresh here. It'll it'll take you know it takes like a minute and then it should there there you go it just came online you see that mm -hmm. so now it, theoretically it's it's configurable and then we can add another service if we want we can do uh, SSH and we do it on port twenty two we can save that and that'll also register um, let's see what else to say on this so yeah this tells you the the license. Um, so this this is still registering in the background. It should come on when when it uh, finishes registration. Um, the other things you can do, I'm not we won't we won't register any more services. But this this service host address, if if you know, I mean, if you if you go into one, of the, let's let's go into this and look at that. This says what does it show me? What does it show me? Details. Let me if I go pick click out here. So it actually shows the internal address of your network and then okay. your external address. So if you knew the other, the other uh, internal addresses of other things on your network, you could also use this as, as a jump host. So if I wanted to go and add a service and you know, I could add 192.168.10.1 and that would point probably to your router, right? And we and you could also share. That means once you have one of these running, you can you can share anything um, in there. And I think you can also use a name. So if you had a local host name like a dot local, you can use that too. But we we won't register anymore. Um, so now if we go back to the devices, now your Dragino is here, and now you can see there's SSH and HTTP. And we should be able to add. Now, I haven't tried this with this particular setup 
whether it is a name or a, a protocol, but let's add this to my network. It's going to generate a name here, I think, because I have it set up. So now it's actually generated this name. And now I should be able to launch it. And let's see if it, if it works or not. <laughs> I haven't tried it with, uh, with this configuration. Okay. And there's your... Uh, And there you go. Now I'm connected to your thing down in Brazil, and we can look at here and uh, the network. You know all the all the configuration. Remote it is what we used, and the bulk ID code is the license key we used was mine, so it registered to my account, and it's all good, right? So now you know I can I can help you configure your stuff here. It's kind of cool, right? Okay. Nice, nice. So we can go yeah. back up over here to the remote desktop. And yeah, so that's it. And I don't know how much you've used the remote desktop. If you look at this network right here, um, this is what's active. And so any one of these things, even though in the background it may not be connected, um, this, you know, this is, uh, if, I, if I connect to any one of these ports, right? Um, like this 3300, it will, you know, it will connect to it. It'll automatically connect in the background. So I can leave these all connected and uh, the Yoix, the remote at desktop will in the background, you know, make these connections all the time. So you can have, you know, all your stuff just sitting there on a port ready to go and then bookmark them on your uh, web browser and you can connect to them. So I don't know how much you played with this, but anyway, I, I thank you for for uh, you know letting me uh, play with your uh, Dragino because I haven't had a chance to really do that. Anyway, you got any questions on that? Uh, did you solve that that pro problem of the client clients that uh, in the second uh, connection? You, you you had reported that he had uh, a problem no yes so that was actually we, what i did is it was good because we we uh we used his his uh product key to register your dragino right and it worked so we what i did is i also sent him the package name of of the firmware you used and he had a way older firmware than that so this was you know total alpha stuff so the the newer firmware fixed all its problems and he's working fine okay very nice it's, so anyway yeah. okay thank you mikey yeah thank Perfect. you you're instrumental in uh, helping us get dragino set up on this okay well you are welcome always okay thanks a lot i appreciate uh i appreciate your help okay bye-bye bye-bye bye-bye